Hello guys, welcome by this new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to align a camera to a spline and let it animate. As you can see in the sound effector project I made this and it's really easy to do so I'm going to show you that right now. Let me get rid of the camera circle right here. Now obviously what we need is a camera and a spline so let's make a spline first and that's going to be the circle spline it can be pretty much any any spline you want just make sure it's on the XZ now pump it up a little so it's more up in the air and obviously make it bigger way bigger so about there a little bit bigger I mean, might be a little bit below this arrow right here looks good and okay we're gonna give it a slight rotation to get that the camera is going up and down effect so I'm gonna rotate it just five degrees on the red axis okay what we're gonna do next is import the camera so hold your mouse on the light and drag to target camera let go and well we have our target but that's not pretty much what we want go to camera right here and click this little icon that's the target option target icon and if you click that the new attributes window will pop up and you have your target object which is pretty much what you need for a target well we're gonna use the sound effector because that's in the center of our scene right here so we're gonna drag and drop this right into the target object and as you can see if I select the sound effector it's exactly in the center of our scene which is really much more what I want the camera to aim at so that's pretty nice all we need to do now is just make align the camera to the spline so that's a really cool build-in function, function what Cinema 4D or Maxon added to Cinema 4D right click on the camera it's Cinema 4D tagged and here we have align to spline click that and a new attributes window will pop up it's about similar as the target but it's slightly different Okay, we want the camera to align to our spline, circle spline, so we're going to drag and drop the circle spline into the spline path right there. Once we have this, we are going to frame zero, and we're going to hit this little circular, open circular button right over here. Hold control, and then click this little, yeah circular button. When it becomes red it added a keyframe. We're going to frame 650 and then change the position to 100% and we'll hold control again and click this little icon again until it becomes red again. Okay what it, done, what it has done right now is it created a animation. Every single frame it moves on the position which is pretty much what we want that's how we got this beautiful effect as you can see now that was about it for this tutorial sorry for my really fucked up voice today I'm a little bit sick so sorry about that if you like the music by the way this song is Corner the instrumental version of Blue Stolly it's a really nice song and uh, yeah for you guys I'm gonna see you later guys and um, yeah till my tutorial goodbye